life of our apostles. Today, we'll talk about St. Matthew. So there you are, back to the Museo del Greco. Let's look into this wonderful um, disciple. I called him hireling of the Roman Empire. He was hired to be a tax collector. A very, we could say, lucrative job. But in the eyes of the Jewish people, it is a hated person who does that job. Why is uh, a tax collector a very hated person among the Jews? Because he collected taxes from among his people, but those taxes they know will not benefit them. It will be sent to Rome, it will be Rome that will become rich and wealthy and at the expense of their so-called uh, occupied territories. One of them was Palestine, Israel. No? So Matthew was that tax collector. It's even worse, brothers and sisters, because he would be a man of wealth as well. He got his commission. Not just a good, hefty, we could say, salary from the Romans, but he was also exacting more taxes from his own people. He has lost a sense of propriety. Parang hindi siya kapwa. Wala siyang, parang hindi siya tao. And yet, he was called from the dregs of society to be part of the inner circle of God, of Jesus Christ. And dyan po, nakita natin na um, this, despite no, that this Matthew has this, we could say, dramatic conversion as a tax collector to belong to the inner circle of the twelve. Yet, he's only mentioned seven times in the Bible. And of course, three of those times because it was a list of apostles. No? Um, other than that, po, aside from the list, nevertheless, Matthew is known for that incident of his call. And all three synoptic gospels speak of the same incident. Sabi ng marami po, kung tatlo sila, Matthew chapter 9, Mark chapter 2, Luke chapter 5, in historia po nila kung sino tong tax collector, very probably po, ang origin po ng storyang ito, sino ba ang sabihin natin ang pinagmulan ng gantong story connected with the life of Christ, very probably po, si Matthew himself. Bakit? Kasi, he named himself as Matthew. Si Mark at saka si Luke, tinawag siyang Levi. His Jewish name. Matthew is a Greek name. And so, maybe it is a second name. And um, Matthew is more known as Matthew rather than Levi, his Jewish name. Kasi nga, bumungad na siya eh, kalaban ng mga Hudyo. So parang itong si Mark at saka si Luke, parang ikinubli pa rin nila ang identity of one of the twelve. Kasi nga, sobrang dregs nga ang of society, sobrang lalim po ang pinanggalingan ng St. Matthew ito. But Matthew said, ako yun. Ako yun sinasabi lang Levi. Ako yun. Therefore, he says there, no? since these are parallel passages and Levi is never referred again except in that so-called dramatic call. So, we find that Mark and Luke include Matthew in the list of their apostles. No? 
And when it is already the list, they don't put it Levi. They mark and look, put it Matthew. So it's safe to assume Matthew and Levi are the same persons. Okay? So, yan po. Uh, ito maganda, after the call of Jesus, uh, Jesus went to his house for a dinner. And, you know, ginawa ni Matthew, eh, sino ba kanyang kagrupo? Di tax collectors din. So, yung buong BRI, BIR na andon, including their girls, mayaman eh. So, may kasama mga prostitutes. And Jesus was seen as hanging out with the worst of the worst. A combination. Men who are tax collectors, women who are bayaran. And they think any person who has this group where he hangs around must be similar to them, to his friends. So it was a reflection according to the Pharisees of the kind of man Jesus is. That's the way they thought. Not God. Not God. Alam nyo, lagay niya, ang ganda, oh. Jesus was not eating with tax collectors and sinners because he is not a sinner too. He was eating with them to demonstrate the mercy of God. It was a call, an invitation to mend their brokenness. They're becoming, you know, ang tataksan la, tagalabas, outsiders of God's own people. So, when we look at the attitude of Jesus towards sinners, it is not to become sinner like them, but it is an invitation to draw them out from their sinful ways. And somehow, by his goodness and his friendship, turn to the way he lives as a son of God, as a true, faithful Jew, faithful son of God. So therefore, by including Matthew among the twelve and his disciples, ito po ang lesson. No one not even what society considered irredeemable would be excluded from God's table. Imagine, kalahok. Yan po ang magandang word doon. Kalahok, maging ang pinakamasamang tao, kalahok sa kainan ng Diyos. Hirap isipin up to now. It's a very powerful picture how God partners with every kind of persons, even the, the ones we least expect. They will accomplish His purposes. And despite the fact that Matthew would have been considered a religious outsider, Jesus brought him to the inner circle so that this inner circle would make him be part of what would be one day the largest religion in the world. And he is at the foundation. He is one of the pillars of this biggest con congregation of men and women who worship the Lord, the true God. Okay, so ito po ang napakagandang chiaroscuro ni Caravaggio. Caravaggio is an Italian painter who tried to play with the light. Samba ang liwanag, you know, it's coming from a window that you don't see, di ba? It's not from the window that he painted, but from the window behind, behind the one calling. And when you look properly no, at the one calling, he is, in a way, in the shadows, no? except his face. Kasi yung taong katabi niya, yun lang with full of light, yung likod ng mamang yun. Siya parang nakatago 
sa madilim. Pero yung kamay, liwanag talaga. Linaw-linaw. At meron siyang tinuturo. Sino tinuturo niya? <laughs> yung mama na sabi, ako? Ako. Diba? Sabi ng iba, siya ba o yung nakatayo na nangongolekta pa? Whichever. Sino ba ang with a full light on the face? Yung nasa gitnang may ganun. They say that is Matthew. Nakaturo sa kanyang sarili more than to his right hand sided person. So, the play of Light and darkness. Chiaro, light. Scuro, oscuro, dark. It's called chiaroscuro. So the author of the gospel, is he Matthew? Is it the apostle? Okay. The early church claimed he wrote it. And therefore, the attribution, according to Matthew, is how they look at the writings that we speak of today's gospel. But there are also arguments against the authorship. <clears throat> Pero up to now, <coughs> no one is proposed to be a different writer. Dito ko po gusto sabihin sa inyo, mga kapatid, we never announce as priests a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew or St. John or St. Luke, or St. Mark. No. We say, according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. It's not irreverence po. Kasi, ang gustong sabihin ng simbahan, pag sinabi mong St. Matthew, tinutukoy mo isang mama. Isang tao. Yun ang santo, eh, si St. Matthew. Pero, pag sinabi mong Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, sinasabi mo, Pati yung community nung Matthew yung iyon, nung Luke na iyon, na ito ang kanlang narinig sa kanlang komunidad being preached by apostles. At sino ang nag, nag bring it together at ginawang parang is a kind of clear narrative with an intention, with a motivation, with this kind of parts left and right. Yung community nga ni Matthew. And therefore, this is uh, a community that testifies and a community that edits, no? that puts one story to the other and say, de, lagay mo yan dyan, de, lagay mo yan doon. Hindi lang isang tao. It's the Matthean community. Yun ang ibig ko sabihin ng not saying St. Matthew. And finally po, how did Matthew die? The same painter, Caravaggio, painted how he died. No? Traditions disagree, but various accounts said he was beheaded, stoned, burnt, stabbed. The most important is he suffered martyrdom. So, sa September 21 po ang kanyang kamatayan. And therefore, um, alam natin, no? He was martyred. Eh, nakita niya, either merong punyal, pero nakabulagta na siya. Ano kaya, no? Ito pong chiaroscuro na to ni Caravaggio. Um, together with another one po, ah. Tat tatlo po yan, eh. It's uh, three walls of a uh, inside side chapel. Sa loob po ng side chapel. Yung three walls po. Have three paintings of Caravaggio. Hindi po masyadong binibisita to. Yung mga punta po sa room. Punta po kayo sa, sa simbahan ng mga French. No? So, Chiesa de Francesi. The Church of the French. And um, you will see that beautiful triptych, no? three mural paintings. Lalaki po nito, ah. three mural paintings 
of the famous Caravaggio. Thank you, po. That's Matthew, the apostle. See you, po, tomorrow. We shall have another apostle tomorrow. Very interesting. See Saint Thomas, the apostle. God bless. Have a good day.